you want to have a better life, first you need to become better at something. Here are your choices. Hi there and welcome to the Focus Rage channel. This video is a continuation on my last one, go and watch that one first, where we spoke about our work environment and how to affect it. Our conclusion was simple, order a couple of hitmen so that they can threaten your boss to change things up a bit. Stop, do not do that, this is just a joke and I do not advise it, completely illegal. Now, the answer consists of two things. First, you need to become a professional at what you do and second, you need to know how to negotiate. How boring and expected. Call the hitman. In this video, we will cover how to evaluate yourself as a professional. I will make sure that by the end of it, you have a proper reality check on yourself and how much leverage you have against the company. Simon Sinek says there are three motivators to a person. The what, the how, and the why. The what, this really won't matter to anybody. In this aspect, this is basically your position. People don't care what your position is, even if you're a CEO. This is not how you gain respect. The how, here we might get some interest. This is how you do your job, how you do your processes, how you chase your targets. It's a good one to start. The why, this is the golden spot for motivating people and influencing them. Why are you doing this job? Why are you doing it like this? Why are you talking with me so nicely? Is it because of yourself? Because you want something for yourself? Or because you want something for us? Hence, for you to be a professional, you really need to understand why you do this job. For me, being a sales manager of a team and actually making these videos brings me fulfillment. I want to reach a wider audience because previously I've seen in my teams that I've been able to help people in many areas of life. Smaller starting channels like mine have a terrible time on YouTube due to the algorithm and the insane amounts of information that we get bombarded with constantly. I will also be doing in the future live streams on OnlyFans on personal topics. Scratch that, scratch that. This is just comedy. Okay, maybe sometimes. What I will actually be doing in the future is live streams on Twitch regarding sales trainings and leadership trainings where you can join in, discuss any topic with me and ask questions on the spot. So please support by subscribing and clicking on the bell to make sure that we keep in touch. Now, let's create three types of levels that accurately depict how dedicated we are in reality. Basically, let's do the reality check. These levels will help us evaluate ourselves because at the end of the day, there's millions of other people that do the same job and we want to be valuable to the company to be able to grow the environment. And by the way, you can be at any of those levels on any given day. This is something that constantly changes. Everybody has bad days and everybody has good days. One, those that talk. Harriet Stowe said, human nature is above all things lazy. So, I'm at this level. All right, what do we do? I wake up at 8 or 9 a.m. considering I have a normal shift. I go to work, I have a coffee, I speak with my colleagues about other people and the latest reality shows, how this dude kissed that girl and this was her first love on camera and her first kiss. Then I do some or most of my responsibilities at work while thinking about my personal life, so my focus isn't at work there. Now, when I go home, I concentrate all of my remaining energy on the following mind-blowingly simple series of comedy or romance. I just love to see how they kiss and how their tongue merge into one. Checking the social media posts of my crush or my friends on what kind of a great weekend they had drinking and how they survived their 800 migraine this year. Then maybe going out with them and proceeding to utilize the most common and powerful social bonding tactic ever, complaining about real life and bolstering my ego with unuseful achievements. Boy, what a great week this was. Now, this is an easy road that many take and the world has succeeded in providing us with many tools for us to feed our escapism and lie to ourselves that we do enough. People might not like what they're hearing here, although they know it's true. The typical motivation for me to be in this stage, the why, would be comfort. <laughs> comfort. No risk, not too much work. A perfect combination. Listen, don't get me wrong. Those that are here are not bad people. However, if I am here, I should not be complaining about the company, about others, and certainly I should not have a negative attitude about what I'm getting from life. Number two, those that do. When you're committed to something, you accept no excuses. Ken Blanchard. Here, I go to work, 
Usually I have the same social environment as the first level, but I do a couple of additional things. Doing all of my responsibilities on 100% or more and following through on any additional requests that the management has provided me with. An important practical note here, I should document all of those additional things, usually via email, so that I can use them in the future. My focus during the workday would be mostly on what I'm doing and not so much on my personal life. Once I get home, I might do some nice things that help me, as long as I have the energy to do that. No guys, I'm not talking about jerking off. Examples Gym sports books, meditation hobbies or maybe doing a cool activity with my family or friends. This group of people is obviously a smaller percentage than the first one. My motivation here, my why, is always results, personal results. I want to be the best, I want to be the strongest, I want to be the smartest, I want to be the most successful. I'm actually so competitive that if any of my colleagues are able to beat me in a single month, I will wait for them with a shovel and a mask outside of the office. Here, many will consider themselves worthy of praise and their worth heavy enough to start expressing their opinions to the management. And that is where there will be confusion on why higher-ups do not listen still. Because this isn't even the final level. If you want a challenge, how about my final form? Final form, my ass! Now, we move to level number three, where we naturally build abundance and experience on top of work. Those that live, don't count the days, make the days count. Muhammad Ali. I go to work, I still have the same social environment and interactions as level 1 and level 2, then what I do before and after work is the actual thing that builds my reputation and provides me with more power to negotiate. Here, most of the things that I would do might feel unpleasant and tiresome, but can reward me somewhere in the future and provide me with knowledge today. And no, I am not talking about losing your grandpa's inheritance money to crypto shitcoins, okay? There can be many things here starting from the mornings, like doing cold showers in the morning, reading books, sports, you know, all of those things, anything. This depends on the person and it's not mandatory, but it's nice to have. What is mandatory here is for me to work on a plan that provides external growth that benefits other people as well, not just internal growth where you have level 2 benefiting themselves. My optimal situation here would be to like my work and to build on top of my expertise in a personal project. I had the luck to stumble upon sales 8 years ago and to love it, which greatly helps me remain proactive and move forward with any business idea that's related to sales. This person does not care how they feel, they don't wonder if they have the energy, they simply assume that they have the energy and they do it. Egotism here will not help and all negativity will diminish their work. This is a person that believes in more than himself. He believes in a higher goal. We can call that a true why. It's not anymore about this month's quota or this year's vacation. It's not about how good they look in front of others. That's bone. And the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. It's about a goal that surpasses myself and extends into the future. And this is strictly individual to every person. Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Uh -oh. You can imagine yourself with your kids and how they have a three-story house in the middle of the mountains with a lovely wife that laughs all the time. Can be an idea that helps strangers or kids in a specific way, providing them with more than they can provide for themselves. Can be a business that helps other businesses and allows them to grow out of their old beliefs and accept a new way of working. This can be many things, but any of those things need to be so important to you that you don't care about how you feel or how much time you have right now. You shouldn't even care whether you succeed or not. You just try and do your best. This is the mentality and work ethic that provides you with the fundamentals an individual needs to have a chance at changing their environment. Fundamentals that are the basics of negotiations. Being a valuable individual, preparation and planning, feeling of abundance, self-control over your emotions, having persistence, and knowing when and how to ask the other party. The last one we haven't covered here, but you will learn how to do it in the next videos. Do have in mind, however, the one key main ingredient is experience. When you combine all of the things that I said, the fact that you have the highest results in the company and you have a higher goal outside that you're working on, you will become an unstoppable force that sooner or later will create something valuable for others and for yourself, inside or outside of the company. In the next videos, we'll go more in depth on practical ways to improve yourself, entities that you negotiate with, and how and when to negotiate with those entities. That's it for today. Support the start of the channel by subscribing, placing a nice big thumbs up, and commenting below on what you agree with, what you disagree with, and what I should change maybe. Thank you everybody for watching. Stick to the channel, stick to yourself, and stick together. Cheers.